The young princess, her heart brimming with excitement, gazed at the approaching shores of India from the ship's lofty deck. Her eyes sparkled with hope, dreaming that this new life would bring her joy and love. In her fantasies, this land promised to be her forever home. However, the dazzling beauty and charm of Durashiva proved utterly indifferent to her own husband, a man who ceaselessly betrayed her and neglected his lawful wife. In this world of majestic visions and interwoven destinies, she faced heartache and disappointments. Hariye Aisha Durusheva was born in Istanbul in the distant year of 1914. Her father was Setzada Abdul Majid, one of the sons of the great Sultan of the Ottoman Empire. Her mother became the third wife of Setzada, the daughter of an Abkhazian prince, Atiye Kadin Efendi. From early childhood, it was evident that Durusheva was destined to become a true beauty. Her father never ceased to adore his beloved daughter, capturing her beauty in photographs. The girl received a quality home education and grew up in an atmosphere of Eastern luxury, surrounded by the splendor of the Dolmabasi Palace. She also had a half-brother, the son of Cezada from his first marriage. In this captivating journey through time and emotions, Hairiye Aisha Durusheva and her story become an integral part of the whirlwind of destiny, where beauty, love and disappointments intertwine in a wonderful symphony of life. In 1922, Hairiye Aisha Duru Sheva's father, Abdul Majid II, became the last caliph of the Ottoman Empire after the abolition of the Ottoman Sultanate. But his reign was short-lived. Following new upheavals, the great empire ceased to exist, making way for the Turkish Republic. In the spring of 1924, Abdul Majid, his wives and children, were forced to leave their homeland at the request of the new government. Initially, they went to Switzerland, but the cost of living there proved too high for the former caliph. Subsequently, they moved to France, settling in Nice. Here, in this new place, Durasheva continued her education. Proficient in four languages and possessing excellent schooling, the princess inherited stunning blue eyes from her mother, which, combined with her dark chestnut hair, left an incredible impression on men. The only imperfection at times was her profile, but it could not diminish her charm. It's no wonder the young Durasheva had no shortage of suitors' attention, even though her family lived in exile. After the tumult in Abdul Majid II's life, enticing marriage proposals poured in for his daughter. The Shah of Persia, Pahlavi, King Ahmed of Egypt, Turkish Zezada Mehmed, all expressed the desire to wed the princess to their sons. Yet, the Caliph's choice fell upon the young Indian prince, Azam Jah, the eldest heir of the vast principality of Hyderabad in India. The groom's family possessed immense wealth, acquired through the mining of precious diamonds. Despite proposals from various noble suitors, the Caliph chose Azam Jah, whose family had previously offered support in the form of a stipend to Abdul Majid. The decision was made without the bride's input. At the time of the wedding, the prince was 24 and the princess was only 17. Externally, Azam did not rival Duru Sheva's attractiveness and was significantly shorter than her. However, such details played a secondary role in organizing a dynastic alliance. In the autumn of 1931, a modest double wedding took place in Nice. On this day, Princess Nilufa, Duru Sheva's relative, married Azam's younger brother. For both brides, the father-in-law, Asaf Jah, paid around 50,000 pounds mahar. This lucrative deal significantly improved Abdul Majid's financial situation, allowing him to relocate his daughters to Paris immediately after the wedding. After the wedding, the two couples embarked on a distant and exotic journey to India. Along with Hairi Aisha Duru Sheva, her mother joined this adventure. Upon arriving in the Principality of Hyderabad, the groom's family organized magnificent celebrations in honor of the union. Azam's father managed to allocate a luxurious palace called Bella Vista for the couple, and Hairiye Aisha Durusheva was granted the title of Princess of Berar. 
Within a year, the young couple welcomed their first son and heir to the principality, Barkat Ali, and six years later, their second son, Karamat Ali. However, despite external luxury and prosperity, the marriage did not bring happiness to the beauty. Hairai Aish Duru Sheva, considered one of the most attractive women of her time, couldn't captivate her husband's attention. Too intelligent and educated, she quickly became tedious to Azam, leading him to infidelity with various mistresses. In this opulence lies tragedy, and the story of Hairiye Aisha Durusheva becomes a lesson that even the splendor of appearance and status does not always bring happiness in love and marriage. From childhood, Prince Azam was extremely spoiled and lacked notable intelligence. His stubborn character and extravagant lifestyle, resembling that of the golden youth, included excessive revelry, frequent changes of women, and lavish stakes in gambling. Duru Shaiva, as a true Eastern woman, silently endured all his antics, turning a blind eye to his indulgences. Did she truly love him? This question remained a mystery. Despite difficulties in her marriage, the Turkish princess easily won the hearts of Indian society. She quickly adapted to court etiquette, learned Urdu, and gracefully wore Indian saris. Contemporaries admired her beautiful manners, her dignity, and regal composure. In her unhappy personal life, Hairiye Aisha Durusheva found an outlet in public service. She advocated for women's education, their right to work, and the abolition of the practice of purda. The princess became a pioneer, actively participating in public events. She opened hospitals, maternity wards, and schools for girls, financing all this with her own means. In 1937, she and her husband attended the coronation of the British King George VI, emphasizing her active role in society. Not only beautiful, but also freedom-loving, Princess Hairiye Aisha Durusheva found pleasure in driving cars and horseback riding. She displayed talent not only in the visual arts, but also in literature, writing articles published in French magazines. Rumors circulated about father-in-law Asaf Jav suggesting he treated his daughters-in-law with exceptional respect. Participating in various events, the ladies were allowed to express themselves freely rather than being confined to isolation in the palace. Duru Shiva's Nizam in particular took pride in her, often setting her as an example for his elder son. The princess not only showed activity in public life, but was also a devoted mother. With love and care, she provided her sons with an excellent education. sending them to study in England. Later, Durusheva insisted that the boys marry Turkish women, believing they made excellent wives. Thus, both Barket and Ali subsequently married Ottoman princesses. These personality traits make Hayriye Ayşe Durusheva not only a beautiful woman, but also a vibrant personality, adorning the principality of Hyderabad. The marriage between Durusheva and Azam lasted 23 years, but with time, the princess's patience wore thin. In 1954, after her father's death, she decided to file for divorce and return to Europe. However, even in the West, she did not forget her obligations and continued to support charitable institutions for women that she had established in India. While Durusheva continued to serve the cause of charity, Azam delved deeper into a lavish and extravagant lifestyle. His parties at the Bella Vista Palace became legendary, full of revelry and abundant wine. Eventually, the angered father disowned him in 1964. The heir became the eldest grandson and Durusheva's son, Bakat Ali, who in 1967 became the new Nizam after his grandfather's death. However, the title was already nominal as the principality was annexed to the rest of India. In 1970, Princess Durusheva's husband Azam passed away. However, she continued her journey for another 36 years. Settling in England, she often met with her sons. Despite the loss, the princess did not remarry. After amnesty for women from the Ottoman Sultan's family by Turkey, She regularly visited her homeland and returned to the principality of Hyderabad. She had 8 grandchildren. Throughout her life, Durusheva never became involved in any scandals.
the princess faced all challenges fate threw at her with dignity. Having lived a long and fulfilling life, she passed away in London in 2006, reaching the age of 92. Interestingly, her eldest son, Barkat, or Nizam Mukaram Jha, was one of the richest people in India and passed away in early 2023. The princess's younger son continues to live in England, 